never in my life have ever seen the extremity of such police force that I uh, did on Thursday. So I was literally moist from the sweat, in the wind, shivering, and no officer showed any level of compassion or you know empathy. They were just walking by and doing their job like robots. The sweat lodge, or the Anipi as we call it in our language, or the Anikaga, um, it is basically a purification process. And it's good to go through about weekly or so if, if you're really into it. Um, in the beginning, women weren't really allowed in the sweat lodge because they have what they call their moon, you know, their monthly moon, and that's their purification process. So as men, we have to purify ourselves, you know, um, with the sweat lodge because we, we don't do that. And there's four rounds, you know, you sing and you pray each round. And the, in my um, teachings, I've learned that the first round you pray for the land and you pray for the sky and for all beings, you know, the, the two-legged beings, four-legged beings, water beings, winged beings. And then in the second round, you pray for the people, you know, your Tiyoshbaya, your extended family all around the world. And then third round, you pray for your, your family, you know, your, your close friends and relatives. And then the fourth round, you finally pray for yourself. So it's all about, you know, sacrificing through that heat and through the, you know, just the whole um, ceremony itself is the sacrifice. You suffer through it and you pray hard and you sing. And um, what that does is it, you know, it, it empowers your prayers in a way, you know, after Richie smoked the Chinookpa, and that's what the smoke sends, you know, your prayers up to the Creator, to Gashula, and that's, that completes the ceremony. And we weren't able to complete that ceremony that day. I have a Lala who's a medicine man, and my mom called him and talked to him about it. And he said that when they broke that ceremony while I was still in it, um, it might have, you know, somehow, like, disconnected my spirit from my, my physical being for, for a bit. And I know do, you, do you see it as a violation of your freedom for religion? I, I do, actually. You know, regardless of the alleged criminal trespass that, that we were um, doing at the moment, you know, being on that, that unceded treaty land or oil land as the cops called it, 